good morning positive people it is actually my official third day of traveling Thailand right now and today I'm heading to Phuket Thailand so pretty much I just want to uh, share with you guys what happened to me yesterday I think I did not end my vlog correctly I think I did not say goodbye to you guys yesterday but uh, yeah, I just want to share with you that when I went back to the hostel, uh, I met this guy who comes by the name of Leng Mo Wang. I don't know how to pronounce his family name, but he's pretty interesting. Like, um, I arrived in the hostel and then we, we talked to each other, and then after that, he asked me out to, to eat somewhere else. Um, there's one place where I really wanted to try, and that's Tesco Lotus where you buy the card, you swipe it to buy the food that you want to eat and then yeah, he brought me there and then we shared stories with each other um, he's actually like a Chinese looking guy but uh, he's based in California and he's here for his internship for about two months and he's heading back to, to California again after a week yeah, his life is pretty much interesting because uh, his family was like a refugee from from, from I don't know where that place I forgot, I think from, from Vietnam or from Laos. Yeah, because he has families in, in Laos. He's here to teach English for his internship for two months. Yeah, I already said that a while ago. And uh, yeah, uh, today I left the hostel at around 2.30 a.m. without even saying goodbye to him. So I'll just say goodbye to him on Instagram because we exchange our uh, Instagram accounts. And also, today, since uh, I'm traveling to Phuket, um, I'm also planning to catch a good sleep because I haven't gotten a good sleep yet. So, yeah, I'm here at the um, Don Muen airport right now. And uh, I arrived here around 3 a.m. I left my hostel at 2.30 a.m. I arrived here at 3 a.m. because I have a flight to catch at 5.10 a.m. to go to Phuket. So, see you guys in Phuket airport. One hour later. Just arrived safe and sound here in Phuket Airport. I'm vlogging myself, but this time I already found myself another travel buddy. His name, I forgot your name. Can you say your name again? Abhishek. Do you have like nickname? Abhi. Abhi. Yeah, I think it's better to call him Abhi. <laughs> yep, so it's an hour flight from Phuket. Uh, no. An hour flight from Bangkok to Phuket. But I wish that it's like three hours because I want to sleep more. So uh, right now, we are heading to get some cup of coffee and then after that, um, we go to Macau Beach there for, no, I think we wait for your friend first, right? Yeah. Wait for your friend first and then we go head straight to the Macau Beach. Even before we get out of this place, we need to change our money. Suppose there is a circle. Yeah. Okay, correct. There is a circle. Uh -huh. And you are traveling to the circle. Uh -huh. But think about that there is a no turn. Yeah. No right, no left, no straight. Just a circle. Then you are coming, you have started somewhere mm -hmm. and you come down for the same place. Mm -hmm. Started somewhere, come down for the same place. Mm -hmm. Started. Stuck in that kind of cycle. Yeah. yeah. But you cannot reach to the any point. Because it's a circle, you start and start and start and but you never reach to the any point. Yeah, yeah. So the same question that I asked earlier, what where do you see right now after all this conversation? Now what do you think what do you have to do? Just like what I told you. I'm really stuck here in my life right now. Yeah, so, so I still can't decide fully of what's gonna happen in my life see, after the five years. Now what do you have to do? Which one is the final thing that you want to complete? It? Yeah. It's yeah. not about the degree or education. It is not related to that. It's it might be you will not be you are not made for that. It is not necessary to have a degree. Yeah. But, but it is necessary to have a goal. A goal in life yeah. that I have to achieve. Yeah. And once I achieve it, then it will make me financially free. Not to work to other boss. Yeah, not to work for And able 
to sustain my family yeah. financially. Oh yeah. If I'll say if any other examples, see we started from the bank of difficult. Mm -hmm. But the uh, pilot doesn't know where to have where we have to land. Mm -hmm. Then where he has to land. Nowhere. Nowhere. So, he has, no so he has stuck in the in the air. In the just air. flying. Yeah, just nowhere flying. To land nowhere it. to land it. Yeah. And one day the fuel was ended and he just fell down. That makes a good sense. <laughs> yeah, if we don't have if we don't have gold in life, we'll just keep in the cycle and stuck in that. Yeah. Eventually we will get tired. What will happen next, then we stop in life. Yeah. We get frustrated. We will get disappointed. Then we will end our life. Yeah. And it may be you will one day sit and really think that what I did on my past days, I can do lot many things or I, or I just passed out. A few moments later. <coughs> Alright, so now, I am vlogging inside a taxi again so yeah I just want to share with you guys what happened I just uh, said hello I mean I just said goodbye to that friend I met back in the airplane um, his name is uh, Abhishek Abhishek he's from India and uh, yeah he has pretty much taught me lots of things about reaching the goal and also um, what to do to reach those goals, to have short term, to be able to reach that final goal in life. And, um, that's pretty much what I needed to hear and to, to, to absorb today. And good thing I met that guy and I'm so happy about it because I learned lots of things from him. Yeah, so now I am on my way to my hotel, Mickey Monkey, and I see you guys there. Mickey Monkey, that's where I'm staying. And your boy just arrived here in Maikau Beach. It's like a 30 minutes drive away from the Phuket airport. And I will show you the, the place where I'm going to stay in today and tomorrow. Here is their uh, dining restaurant. The reception where you're going to pay for your booking. And this guy right here, what is your name? Hmm? Song. Song, okay. He's going to introduce to me where the shower and toilet is. Shower and toilet. Okay, which one should I use then? Yes. Which one? This one, the shower. The white one? The white one, and the dead way. Okay, so I can use any of them? Yes. All right, thank you so much, okay. Song. Thank you so much, you're gonna be in the vlog. And this is the place where I'm going to stay for today and for tomorrow. I will show you my room. It's actually not a room, it's a tent to be exact. It's just kind of amazing, look at that. This is at a place where you can get to experience or stay in with your life every day. Right, it's cool. Look at it from the outside. And let's check what's inside it. Yeah, I've got two beds, but I'm only one who's staying in here. Maybe this is a sign that I need to have someone to travel with me the next time I come and visit here. <laughs> yeah, so I, when I arrived, they gave me two bottles of water. I've got a lamp and I hope a very strong electric fan because it's really hot in here. This tent is under these trees. And it's a bit windy, so it makes it more comfortable. And pretty much yeah, that's all I can share with you today. So right now I'm going to sleep first because I haven't gotten a good sleep yet, always. Yeah, so I, I, I woke up early this morning, just like what I said a while ago. I woke up this morning really early and in the airport I didn't really get the chance to sleep well because I talked to Abhishek, he was my seatmate. Um, we shared stories in life. I really wanted to, 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 to get a good nap or even sleep for an hour but it's not enough so yeah I'm not gonna go anywhere else I'm gonna uh, sleep I, I, I hope I get to sleep well and later on this afternoon I'm gonna check the sunset 
I heard that the sunset here in Maikau Beach is very beautiful and that's what I'm so excited about to experience and to check out later on. I can get to try it there, but I'm pretty sure that trying it next time. So, uh, yeah, mm, today uh, I'm just gonna wait for the sunset, take photos of it. I hope I can also get the chance to take photos of the boat with the Thailand writing on it and try uh, doing some bicycles because I really need some exercise right now. Yeah, okay, so unfortunately they do not change Macau money here and that's the money I have left from my uh, visit in Macau last time, last month, a few months ago actually. And it's like 300 Macau money and 300 Hong Kong dollars. I have already changed my Hong Kong dollars into bad, but I'm having a hard time to change my uh, Macau money into bad as well. So I'm not sure if I'm still be able to change that into bad, but I hope when I visit Cambodia or even uh, Vietnam, I get to change that money into their currency. A few moments later. I never felt this way. Can't get it now, so stay. It's not like we got big plans oh. Let's drive around town I always want to try to make new friends, but uh, I still can't find one. And uh, uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow when I, I have no idea if I'm gonna go to Karen Beach or not. And uh, I just want to give you um, the feeling of how is it like being in here in Mickey Monkey Beach. Um, the vibes is really comfortable, calming. You get to hear the waves of the sea, the smell of the pine trees, with the smoke of the bonfire and the restaurant smell with the food so yeah i recommend this place in here in phuket thailand there are lots of places you can visit here in phuket thailand but i just uh i just uh, chose this place because it's 
kind of close to the airport since I am catching an evening flight tomorrow and I don't want to be late. Actually, I want to go to Karen. That's why I asked the lady a while ago if, uh, like, how to get there, but it takes like an hour and a half and it costs too much, around 1500 and she get, she told me like she can give it to me for 1300 but that's still too much for me and I don't think that I'm still gonna have enough money left if I do that. Going there, 1300 and then from Karen viewpoint to go back to the airport it takes like an hour and a half again and it costs 1150 so it's going to break my bank and then yeah, th this place is kind of not bad at all. Uh, yeah, like what I said a while ago, it's close to the airport, like 30 minutes away, and it costs 600 uh, baht only. So it's still expensive, but better than nothing. And also, I don't want to stay in a place far from the airport because I don't want to run late. I don't want to be late for my flight. Yeah, well, tomorrow. Oh, what's that sound? It's kind of terrifying. <laughs> better. Oh, yeah, bats are starting to make that kind of strange sound now. Uh, yeah, maybe that's a sign that it's already going to be dark and it's already going to be evening. So, I'm not gonna end my vlog here yet because I will, I will show you the places I'm still gonna visit later. But if I'm not able to show you it anymore, then pretty much that's the end of my day here in Macau Beach. And see you guys again tomorrow in the next vlog. What's that sound? Is that bat? It's kind of scary. Bird? What's that sound? Is it a bat? A bird? It's kind of scary. What's that sound? That sound. Is it a bad? No, 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 no. Malay, go here. Insect? Yeah, yes. Ah, okay. That's so loud. <laughs> Thank you. That's so loud, huh? Yeah, whenever I ask the people here, they cannot actually understand English that much but they are very helpful. They always try to help me with the questions I ask them in English. So they are very welcoming, nice, helpful.